Hey guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to create a custom layout inside of our Blazor WebAssembly applications. So, many of you guys may not know what a custom layout is, even though you guys actually have been using one. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a page, a simple Razor page actually, and what the Razor page is going to do is, it's going to have our custom layout embedded into it. So, let's go ahead and just call this one custom page.razor. Okay, so inside of here, I'm not going to do anything except just include a simple page route. And what the page route is just going to be is simply just custom page. All right. And uh, that, that's basically it. Oh, uh, wait, no. Slash custom page. All right, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and just run this inside of a terminal. And the reason why I want to do this is because I just want to show you guys what's going to happen when you have an empty page. All right tutorials and I'm just going to go ahead and just run this okay now let's go ahead and just open up our web application on the local host all right so the local host finally loaded and I'm just going to go ahead and just open this all right so as you can see in here when I go to the route slash custom page okay as you can see over here, even though we've only written one line of code, we get all of this excess of boilerplate, such as the about page, the home, the counter, and the fetch data. I can even go to the counter and like, you know, use it. Now, the reason why this is happening is because we already have a custom layout that is inherited inside of our, inside of every single Razor page. To know what this is, just head on over to the main layout.razor. This main layout.razor is actually a specific layout component, and what's happening is that it automatically applies to everything. However, let's suppose if we don't want it to apply there. That's why we have to create a custom component, which is why we're having this video done today. So, in order to create a custom component, head on over to shared. Alright, inside of the shared, let's go ahead and just create a brand new layout. Let's call this custom layout. Layout dot razor. All right, now inside of custom layout.razor, first of all, we need to specify that it's a layout. To do this, just type at inherits layout component base. All right, now that that's done, we can now just write embed our very own HTML code inside of here, which will be shared throughout. Allow me to explain. Let's go ahead and just have a header tag. Okay, and inside of our header tag, we're just going to have an h1 tag. Uh, h1 tag and this is just gonna say top now let's go ahead and also include a footer footer and this footer tag is gonna also have an h1 and it's just gonna say bottom all right and let's also make a section just for the body text right so this is for all the html in, or all of the data inside of the razor page for that custom page right so we're gonna just simply write at body, all right? And that's just gonna include anything that the, the developer might provide. And let's just go ahead and just add some line breaks in here. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and connect that over into our custom page. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna go over here and just write at layout, custom layout. Now let's go ahead and just add some of our own HTML. Actually, let's not add anything yet. And let's just go ahead and run this app. All right, and upon running this app, you're gonna go ahead and see that we don't actually have to use uh, any HTML and it's already a pre-rendered layout for us. Observe. So we go over here, full screen app, slash custom page, okay? And as you can see, we automatically have this top section over here, and we also have this bottom section over here. All right, let's go ahead and see how we can improve this even more. Let's suppose if I write over here in an h1 tag, h1, or let's just go with an a uh, p tag actually, random text. Now, where do you think that this text is going to go? Now, you would be correct if you say that it goes right in the center. And the reason why it goes in the center is for two reasons. One, this is the footer, this is the header, and also because the body that you're inheriting is directly related over here. 
So whatever text or whatever text is over here, whatever like razor page is over here, it'll just go and just print out over here. All right, let's go ahead and just run this. Oh, let's go ahead and just view this. Slash custom page. Okay, so as you can see over here, we've created a, a full-on customizable layout inside of Blazor. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.